Hi and good morning, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I want to get a general, um, a general energy for Sagittarius. What's going on, Sag? Hmm. 50-50. Woo! Again, you're getting prosperity. Oh. Sagittarius, you're weighing something out. Networking, supporting, constellations, associates, meetings, socializing, arrangements. A large amount, Sagittarius. What is going on here? Many options, Sagittarius. Part and home. Happy home, security, love, kindness, family, belonging, bliss, contentment. Fulfill the legacy. Sagittarius, you had to make a decision. And it obviously has been the correct one. Good fortune, prosperity, jackpot, success. It's like being on easy street here, Sagittarius. You found a deeper meaning and you have mastered your discipline, the wheel of karma. Hello, this is your dharma. You were faced at a crossroads, Sagittarius. Whatever decision that you've made in your life, it has been the correct one. You've made the right choice. On one hand, you could have chosen a life of karma, and on the other hand, it's dharma. You had a 50-50 life-changing moment. If I walked in this direction, you may have received a lot of karma. You have chosen your dharma. Look, Saj, you've made the right choice. This is mastering discipline, working smart. <clears throat> Some of you could be teaching now, teaching others your skills. The light of the world, Sagittarius. Look, you listen to your spirit guides. You've got like one, two, three, at least three or four or more ancestors around you that were guiding you, telling you, teaching you. Look, this is you mastering. I'm going to say it right out there, Sagittarius. Some of you are master ascendants. You are a light in the world, Saj. Because you have faced a lot of diversity, Saj, you're very diverse when it comes to your everything, your choices, your decisions, you're teaching, you're learning, you're very diverse. It's like you can fit into any situation, Saj. You are a mutable sign. You can adapt very easily, Saj. You've been guided. So you're in this boat here, Saj. This is a major turning point of your life. A major 
decision that you've had to make. But you've been guided by your ancestors here. Hmm. Interesting. The master artisan. With whatever you're working at, you're... You're, you've mastered something, Sag. Knowing your worth, your value. Uriel and the Sphinx. It's divinely guided. Divine architecture here. Building a solid home, a solid foundation. The Buddha has been preparing you. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe up to eleven Buddhas have been preparing for this for a long time. It could be many lifetimes. Your way has been paved. Your coming out of karma and finding your dharma which is your destiny, your life's path, you may, a lot of you, become masters or are master builders, master light workers. Very likely, very likely. So, masculine energy. This person was, uh, I'm telling you, you're mature here. You're very protective with the bear. You've gotten the key to opening a door to a new future here. You're working very hard and you've had to make a decision to cut out something very toxic from your life. And the ship is here and the anchor is here. There is a message. Healing. Master healing. You've got the key. You've opened the door, Saj. The anchor, the ship. Safety. Si the long term, Sagittarius. There is a letter here. A message. Huh. Um, you've had a team of ancestors guiding your ship, guiding you. Some of your ancestors may have been shipbuilders. Carpenters, master architectural designers, something like that. You've been guided. Someone is very protective over you, Saj. And it is a masculine energy. It could be um, a master builder. Buddha energy. Someone very high ranking.
You could be traveling, Sagittarius. I'm picking up a lot of ancestors. <clears throat> Master Buddha's um, Ascendant Masters. There's a lot of family issues going on. And I think that sad you've just risen you could run your own business <clears throat> you could be very stable very busy multifaceted i think all of this you just got played out with whatever this other energy is oh jesus someone's locked up or about to be always in and out This is a love triangle. Someone's going broke here. Always partying. This is a player and you got played out. You ran, Sag. <laughs> run, Sagittarius. Run for the hills. You actually could be relocating to where there is water. Ships. Marine. Hmm. Someone's tripping on you because you're ignoring them. Spirit saying they ain't shit. This is a lot of drama. Clout chasers. Your light disturbs their demons. This person's wondering if they've lost their last chance with you. If they stand a chance with you, Sag. I think you ran, Sag. It's like I've had enough. What's going on? Since you've been gone, Sagittarius. Since you've been gone. You've built... Or could be building an empire. You could be collaborating like this is for, oh my God. The Buddha has been preparing. This is the ancestors. <clears throat> this is a master builder, a master craftsman, a master architect building an empire. Maybe you have become the master builder. Running your own business, multifaceted. Sagittarius, you could be on social media or on a social platform as a master. Um, or this is you. Running your own business. Mastering your skills. You've been guided, Sagittarius. This is like an unstoppable energy. You've left the past in the past and you're moving forward at a rapid pace. This is fast, accelerated motion. You could be communicating a lot with right now with um, really busy Sagittarius. Look. You're very loving. You're very nurturing. You're a leader. You were meant to be a leader. Hang on. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> that was the Amazon delivery. Um, and Tucker opens the zone door and goes outside. He's figured out how to do that. Sagittarius, you're very loving. You're very warm. You're very nurturing. You offer a lot to people. Sag, you have a lot to offer. You're very generous. You're very warm, loyal. You are becoming a ment You're mentoring somebody here, Sagittarius. You are teaching your skills to others. You're friendly, you're outgoing, you're gregarious, you love adventure. Hmm. This person was very sneaky, Sagittarius. Somebody could have been juggling you. Could have thought, you know, I'm the boss here. I I don't know, Sag. Hmm. This is a lot of drama here, Sag. Here you are. Solid foundation, Sagittarius. Joy, happiness, growth, new ideas. Sag, you inspire others. You're very inspiring. Your light irritates their demons, Saj. Whoever they are, whoever your haters are, you piss people off, Saj. Oh well. You're light for others, Saj. You could be a master healer. You don't get the star without the tower, so I know you've had a tower. Your light irritates people's demons. Someone is very proud of you, Sagittarius. It's either a king of cups, which would could be uh, a brother, a father, a grandfather, a master. Hmm. More than that, Saj, you got a lot of people around you that have a lot of respect for you, have a lot of emotion toward you, a lot of compassion toward you. Uh, Sagittarius, this is truth. Sagittarius speaks the truth. So someone sees you as very dedicated, very loyal, very fair. You make a good, fair... Uh, if you employ people, people respect you. You're fair, you're honest, you're trustworthy. You make a good partner, Sagittarius.
Did you just see the lights go weird? And there are people around you, Sagittarius, that have a lot of respect for you. I think you're attracting in Sagittarius like-minded people. Hmm. You could be traveling, Sagittarius. And I don't think you're interested, Sag. What's this? You've got more than one option, Sag. You've got a King of Swords, a King of Wands, and a King of Cups, and a King of Pentacles here. You're attracting your soulmate, Sag. Somebody is very jealous that you've walked away, Sag. Oh, I think they're pissed off that you've got options. <laughs> Cycle ending, new beginnings. You're moving forward, Sagittarius. There is new love in your future. This person's hurt that things are over, Sag. They're going broke. And they're pissed off and angry that they didn't offer you this. A message. This is someone wants to lock you down, Sagittarius. Holy God. This is your Dharma, Sagittarius. When I see this Capricorn energy, this does not mean that you're in toxic energy, Sag. Now, I could say it's the past person, but right now, your focus is on material gain. Because you, many of you, although you have options, your first priority right now is acquiring wealth for many of you. You know your worth. You know your value. Okay? I could turn this the other way, but the cards are not aligning it for it to be turned any other way. This is your dharma. So a lot of you may have Capricorn placements in your chart, which is not uncommon. Even if you don't, set, like it goes, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn. And a lot of you, even though you're Sagittarian energy, which is why you should be watching Capricorn reads as well, because it's like you level up. You go to the next phase. 
you, this is your dharma. You're all queens, all kings if you're the masculine. You're on your next stage. This is wealth acquirement. It is. Masculines or feminines. You're focusing on building an empire. Your focus is on financial resources right now and building a future for yourself so you can take it easy later on in your life. This is your dharma. This wealth. And a lot of people are noticing your dharma. A lot of people are watching your changes in your life. A lot of people are, this is the, the student. A lot of people are learning from you, Saj. working hard Sagittarius on your finances and it's almost as if hmm oh yeah you got some mocker here it's this other freak over here this other uh, lover is freaking out on you tripping on you Sagittarius because you're very um, intuitive, you're very it's because they're freaking out Saj, they're freaking out they're freaking out because you know shit Saj Because you know shit, your light irritates their demons. People are freaking out, Saj. This is weird energy. People are starting to be afraid of you, Sagittarius, because of the things you know. This is your dharma. And all those naysayers and all those people that were making fun of you and hating on you and gossiping about you and spreading, now they're afraid of you. They're like, holy F, I didn't know Sagittarius was this. This person's worried they've lost their chance with you. This is your dharma, Saj. Your dharma. People are getting karma. And you are getting dharma. This is your life purpose. It is written in the Akashic Records. For you to have this. Dharma. And now you got people scared. The people that were making fun of you, the people that were making up stories about you, they didn't know that you knew. She who knows, he who knows. You come from a long line of masters, Buddhas. Master planners, developers.
you may be either are now or will be in your future a an ascendant master because you have mastered and learned the skills you are here as a light to others and now they're freaking out Sag because they have obviously found out who you really are the student becomes the teacher you've been guided you've had buddhas uh, mentors and ancestors that have been there for you thick and thin teaching you from your childhood you've had a lot of messengers around you since childhood you cannot tell me that you haven't a lot of you are are Ascendant Masters. The student has become the teacher. And it's looking like you've been put in a position. You know, This energy people are frightened of every time they see it. But he who has faced their demons what is to fear? But fear itself. You have faced all your demons, Sagittarius, all your fears, all your naysayers. You're not afraid of this devil energy at all. When the devil is in the upright position, You've conquered your demons. <laughs> you have. This devil is nothing to fear. This devil is actually a good thing. You don't get these wings until you have faced your enemies, until you have faced your demons. You cannot have the light without the dark. This is perfect balance, Sagittarius. There's nothing hidden with these two characters. that you cannot know about or see. Huh. You have the power to heal addictions, toxicities, you're not afraid of these demons. But there are those who are. <laughs> Even the devil respects the angels. That's that double-edged sword. 
an angel can deal with the demons. The angels can see people's demons, knows people's demons, because you've experienced it. Any good Buddha knows You cannot have one without the other. That is called balance. That is called discipline. That is called insight and learning and knowledge. This angel ain't afraid of no demon. In fact, the angels embrace the demons. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. This is your dharma. You can face your fears. Face your demons. Face whatever it is that you need to face without fear. Hmm. Interesting, Sagittarius. It's almost like you have the power and the strength to look inside people's souls sees their demons, sees the good and the bad in people and in perfect balance can understand In your lifetime, Sagittarius, you have faced a lot, many demons, <laughs> but you've had just as many Buddhas around you protecting you on your journey. It's all part of the journey. The angels fear no one. Archangel Gabriel thought You reap what you've sown. That's what this person didn't know. That's that double-edged sword. You can use these gifts for good, or you can use these gifts for evil, but one does not exist without the other. These angels fear no demons because probably and more than likely you've had to face them. And not only that, but you are giving strength to those who have had to face their demons. Your light irritates people's demons. Because in a lit room, everything is exposed. They cannot hide from the high priestess. I'm going to say a lot of you are Ascendant Masters. The Ascendant Masters know that they fear no demon. 
this is like You've had to face your demons throughout your life. You've had to be in situations where you've been tried, tested, and true. You've passed the tests. I mean, we're all tested here on this earth, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying Sagittarius is our little goody two-shoes and they do everything correct and they do everything right. That's not what I'm saying. But you've learned many skills. Who have, Saj? You've been through tower after tower. You probably could name the demons, Sagittarius. Many of you can. I know you can. How would you know what an angel was if you hadn't faced the devil? You're strong, Sagittarius. Your strength has encouraged many along your journey. Look. This is your Dharma. <clears throat> You've uh, experienced a lot in your life, Sagittarius. You know damn well you're not going to spend it fear and no demons. You like, you have the power to slay demons, Sagittarius. The Buddhas have been preparing you your entire life. Many of you are much more ascended than others, but I can tell you. A lot of people can't stand to look at the light. It's too bright. Many people can't face you, Sagittarius, because of the things that they have done to you. And I'm not just talking this past person. I'm talking a lifetime, Satch. You're very powerful, Sagittarius. You've been prepared to be a Buddha or an Ascendant Master. Why you have so many haters? So many people who are jealous and envious and trying to do you dirty. It's nothing you can't handle, Sagittarius. Whatever you're faced with, there's nothing you cannot handle or face. That's what makes you... As strong as you are, you you get strength by your adversities, not by having a pampered lifestyle. You get knowledge from painful situations, extremes, such. It builds character, man, and it builds wisdom. It's in your bloodline, Saj. Take care.